Thanks very much, Joe, and thanks everybody. Uh, I realise some of you I have spoken to before, some of you may have seen me presenting before. So what I wanted to do today was take a slightly different angle, and rather than focusing on the nuts and bolts of what it is we do, um, really focus on engagement and also how we can directly support some of the aspects of the social housing white paper. Uh, and I have to say, I've been quite surprised with the amount of um, conversation that's going on in the in the sector around the, the white paper. Uh, and even some landlords are recruiting specifically for it, you know, with things like directors of customer engagement and so on. So it's obviously uh, a big topic and, and something that's on everybody's minds. Um, for those of you that, that don't know, a tiny bit of background, Locals provides real-time uh, communications, uh, ETA tracking uh, and feedback uh, around the day of service. And I think Suzanne referred to it just now as the DPD experience, uh, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, and we work with a number of uh, companies outside of the housing sector, particularly in utilities and, and field services. Within the sector, we work with contractors who provide repair services, and we also work with a number of DLOs uh, or landlords that have DLOs. Um, and also, as, as Paul from MRI stated, we've got a number of partnerships with other technology vendors where we're integrated into their tools as well. So I wanted to start by saying, what is engagement? Um, and I think for me, the key thing is it's about interaction. It's a two-way process. So this is not just about sending messages to customers. It's about engaging in a dialogue with them. And when that's done correctly, there's a number of outcomes from that. So you'll have an enhanced customer experience. I guess that's stating the obvious. Um, and also an opportunity to strengthen brand loyalty and trust. And trust is a, is a word that I hear quite a lot within the sector. And it's obviously very important to build that trust, you know, letting people know what you're going to do, keeping them updated, doing what you said you were going to do, and then giving them the opportunity to tell you things about it as well. And on that point, gathering feedback is really useful so that you can hear what customers think about the services being provided. And as a kind of useful side effect of this, you can also bring some efficiencies from effective engagement. Essentially, when everyone knows what's going on and when it's going to happen, things tend to run more smoothly. So that's engagement in, in, in my terms. Um, at Locals, we're focused around engagement through, um, through the appointments process. We're all about appointment-based visits and keeping customers informed around those. And they tend to be focused around repairs, but equally it could be housing offices or condition surveys or lettings even. Um, and in essence, we provide a sequence of communications throughout the appointment journey. Uh, importantly, the customer doesn't need to download an app or register. It kind of just happens. They just need internet connection to, to experience some of the richer content. So it could be uh, confirmations and reminders. Uh, perhaps what we're best known for is the, is the ETA tracking. So we present that Uber style map to customers, precise ETAs. But really importantly, and particularly for today's discussion, we allow interaction. So we allow customers to communicate directly with their assigned operative. And we also make it really easy for them to give feedback at the end of the process. So just to pick up on a couple of those points, particularly around engaging, um, you know, I want to focus on this word interaction. And one of the things we do is we make it easy for the customer, the residents to interact with their assigned operative. You know, all of us have deliveries or people turning up to carry out a service at our homes and we seldom know who's coming. We certainly don't know how to contact them. And often we've got something useful to tell them and it's really frustrating. So we want to make it easy for, for landlords to allow their customers to talk directly within certain con confines and, and restrictions, but talk directly to the person that's coming to see them so they can pass on really useful information. And one of the things that happens from that, apart from you know, being a great experience for the customer is it does help to ensure things like uh, better first time access and avoiding some of the hanging around or, or delays that might otherwise happen if the operative just doesn't know what's um, what the customer has been trying to say. And, and the other area is feedback itself. Um, and I think the, the, the key thing here is to is to make sure you're asking for feedback quickly following the experience whilst it's fresh in people's mind. Um, you know, we call it in the moment feedback, so you're, it's much more accurate. Um, and also to be able to use that feedback to, to uh, deal with problems as they arise. So through real time alerts um, and the ability to, to hear about customers feedback as it happens, uh, landlords are in a much better position to do something about it. And, and I'll pick up again on that in a second. I'm just going to try and minimize part of my screen that's getting in the way, that's better. So, you know, which journey do your customers take or do or will they take? And I've just sort of got 
two sort of contrasting views here. Journey A, the unknown, and this is very typical. Customers are given a wide sort of AM or PM window of arrival for somebody coming to visit them. They get frustrated sitting at home. They will pick up the phone to say, where are you? I was expecting somebody. That sort of query is not easy to answer. Um, and then quite often the customer decides or has to step out for something urgent or maybe use the shower or something just at the wrong time. And you end up with a no access failure at the end of that process. Whereas in contrast, the kind of in the no journey is all around um, a sequence of communications, keeping the customer updated, giving them that real time tracking so they know exactly what's happening and when, giving them the ability to talk to you and also the ability to give feedback at the end of the process. So it's a, a much smoother journey. So how can we help with the social housing white paper? And I'm, I'm not in any way trying to paint locals as a panacea here, but I, I've taken a look through the, the white paper and I've picked out three key areas where we've got something specific to add uh, and, and a way of, of adding um, direct help for, for landlords. And the first of these is, you know, the quote here, the regulator of social housing will require landlords to show they have sought out and considered ways to improve tenant engagement. So the letter of the law here is to say, you must show that you have tried to look for better ways of engaging tenants. And you know, on that very simple uh, app basis, it's a tick in the box, you know, using something like locals is a demonstration that you have looked at in, in innovation and new ways of engaging tenants. But the spirit of this is more about improving that engagement and improving the customer's experience. And so through something like locals, customers certainly are better informed and both parties, the landlord and the tenant can find that interaction much simpler and much more effective. And ultimately customers love it. You know, all of our clients see um, overwhelmingly positive feedback from their customers when they implement this kind of visibility and ease of dialogue. And as a kind of bonus outcome, you know, as well as meeting this aspect of the white paper, uh, the landlord makes those efficiency savings, particularly around uh, better first time access and fewer calls coming into their contact center. So that's the first thing. Secondly, um, when it comes to customer satisfaction, the, the regulator um, is really going to be shining a light on this and collecting and publishing a core set of tenant satisfaction measures. And those measures are set out already that will include satisfaction with repairs and overall satisfaction with landlord engagement. And of course, the implications of this are that you're going to want to have the best rates of satisfaction possible because they're going to be published and league tables will be out there. Now, for years, landlords have already published their own um, customer satisfaction rates, but I think there's going to be this increased scrutiny on those and, and increased sort of public limelight shone on them. Um, so, you know, implementing something like locals makes customers happier, full stop. So, you know, it's a good way of making sure you've got the best chance of getting good customer satisfaction rates. But, but measuring satisfaction is really important as well. And I'm again, I'm not proposing that locals is going to be the official way of measuring satisfaction. But fundamentally, you want to make sure you ask as many people as possible, ask them really quickly after a, a service experience and make it really easy for them to respond so that you get the maximum number of responses. And then if you have the most number of responses and those responses are in the moment, then that, that feedback or, or that measurement is going to be as accurate as it can be. Whereas in contrast, if you wait for a day or a week or, or even a month before you ask for feedback and you make it difficult for people to give feedback, then those results will be skewed. You'll get people that are, are motivated because they've got an axe to grind, for example. And again, as the bonus outcome here is if you can deal with feedback and, and alerts promptly, and if that data is linked directly to the job ID, the operative ID, then it becomes really actionable feedback rather than just statistics. Um, so, for example, you, you know, you know that a customer's got a problem immediately, you can start to deal with it. Or you can look at things like league tables amongst operatives to see who's getting the, the happiest customers. And then finally, when it comes to complaints, you know, the, the, the regulator will run awareness campaigns. And again, this has already started so that residents know what, the, what their routes to complain are and how to escalate things. Uh, and I'd say, actually, our role here is to help fundamentally by helping to reduce the number of complaints in the first place. You know, Locals is not a complaints handling or a case management system, but we certainly can help with reducing the number of complaints. You know, better engagement gives you happier customers, therefore fewer complaints. But... But all of us as, as consumers, normally a complaint, a formal complaint is the last resort when everything else hasn't worked out. 
So what we're saying is give yourselves the best opportunity to avoid those complaints by that timely feedback mechanism and using alerts so that you can promptly um, respond and start to action things to, to nip issues in the bud before they escalate. And, and there's, a, there's also a chance here to, to convert some of those, so let's say, suboptimal experiences into, into advocacy. So we all know that if something goes wrong with the service provider and we get a rapid response, even if it's just to say we're on the case, it's a really pleasant surprise. You know, wow, this landlord's really listening to me. And whilst I'm not suggesting that people manufacture problems so that they can then come to the rescue and deal with them, uh, certainly there is the opportunity through through uh, prompt reaction to, to really turn things around when things don't go quite right. So finally, in summary, um, keep customers in the loop so that things run smoothly. Uh, and when you make it easy for customers to interact, and interaction really is the key here, and establish that dialogue, you will find that customers have got useful things that they want to tell you that are really helpful. Gathering feedback promptly and critically acting upon that feedback is going to help to reduce the level of complaints. And as we all know, effective engagement gives happy customers. And that's one of the main outcomes we're all looking for here. So that's me done.